Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to make this real quick because I got to do my Walgreens run. Um, so the unemployment is at 14.2%. There's 14.2% of the people unemployed. I don't know if, there's, if it's in California or if it's in the country. Still, I mean, 14%. No, it has to be California. Yeah, I think it has to be California because I think in the nation it's even more. And when the Great Depression happened, I think it was 25% of people were unemployed during the Great Depression. And now I think there's it's 20% or 17% or something like that, like a little under what it was with the Great Depression. But still, people are not working. And so now there's going to be a shortfall in government funding, and then we're going to have less pre police protection and other things. So how is this happening? But how is the stock market still up over $20,000? I don't get that. Like, what are we missing? Because I don't get the correlation. I, okay, so in order for the stock market, people are still buying, buying. Okay, so... So is this the 43,000 um, millionaires that got that $1.6 million checks? And then the, 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 the poor people like me, um, we're supposed to survive off of that 1.2? No, not 1.2. I wish we did get 1.2 million. $1,200 check? Like, help me make sense of that. And not only that, Okay, so unemployment, but then you the, the state or the country is running out of money, so that's going to run out of money pretty soon. And then people are going out of business like, is this the end? Again. And now there's, what, 70, what is this, 75,000 people that are dead? And I told you about the 100,000 more body bags that they are bringing. Like, Who's in charge of this? How did this happen in two, in 2020? How did this happen? In 2020, just all of a sudden, boom, a bomb. So is this, are we at chemical warfare? This, this shit is invisible. I, you can't see it coming. How, are, how is it going to stop? Would it have been an issue if people would have cleaned surfaces the way they should have? Like literally, I don't like to sit anywhere except for in my car, which has a towel, on my bed, and like on surfaces. Like to come home, I take off my clothes immediately. Like I have these on now. But if I leave and I come back, I like to just go to the bathroom, take off my clothes and use and take a shower. Mm-hmm. So what's the correlation between, I'm not going to say filth, but you know what? And I used to always tell the clerks, do you guys clean off these keypads? Because people are touching it every day. When I, I don't like to go to the, to the, um, I don't like to go to Walgreens and touch the pad. I don't like to go, you know, to the grocery stores, to the banks, anywhere that I have to touch a keypad or the gas station. I haven't touched a gas pump with my bare hands in about a year because it's just disgusting and people don't wash their hands. People don't even wash the butts. You go to people's house and they don't even have white piece because you, you can't get all of that feces, fecal matter from your butt with tissue. You got to have some type of moisture or whatever. And you can tell they don't do it. They don't have it because they don't have... Um, a garbage in their in their bathroom. That's it's disgusting. But what are we gonna do? Because now there's no there are no jobs, there's no money, there's no meat, there's not there's about to be no food. So times are about to get hard. Do you guys realize that? Times are about to get hard. Alright, they they are hard. 
So we need a boost in quickly to um, make sure that everyone is able to survive this. Like you guys need to start printing money. I don't care about inflation. Print the money because all of these stores that have been closed, once they do open, they have to have sales to move out stuff. Like they closed um, in the beginning of spring. Well, guess what? The summer merchandise is coming up. Like they really need to figure out how are they going to save the country. Go ahead and print out the money. And you know, Ka 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 Kalama, no, Kamala Harris was talking about we need 2000 a month. Okay, we need 2000 a month, but don't give us 2000 a month and give all these, those millionaires a million dollars a month. No, no, we, no, 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 no. After, you know, under a certain income bracket, they need to be um, compensated. Or else the country's going to go to kaputs. Thank you, Trump. Thanks, China and whoever else, Bill Gates, allegedly, whoever else, Ale Dr. Fucci, whoever else, allegedly. Thank you. Thank you for starting to 2020 with a banger. And I still don't know how, you know, and I like Newsom, but I don't know how he went from, oh, these, you know, these whatchamacallits, these protests, I'm not going to fear them or anything. And then the next couple of days, okay, we're about to open. Like, what phone call did you get? What Zoom meeting were you in on when someone threatened your life and your, well, let's just put that, or your position as a governor and said, look, either you open it up or we're about to do something. Someone, something happened. Because literally overnight, you know, his whole mental change regarding that. And yes, the numbers are descending, but people are still dying. Actually, so my cousin, he posts, you know, how many people are dying per day. Just a couple of days ago, it was like 63, maybe 65. And now it's 75. It was like 9,000 people in a couple of days. 9,000 people in a couple of days. And now they're saying that New Jersey, their numbers are spiking. It's interesting. Let me see how many minutes I have. Gas prices are low, but if you don't have any money to put gas in your tank, what's going to happen? So some businesses are opening because of Mother's Day and others are stagnant. And Newsom also said that the salons they're going to open up in phase three. So in California, the salons open up in phase three, but in Georgia, they, they're open. But what's going on in New York? Like what's going on in New York? Can you imagine being in a city where people are dying left and right? Oh, there was a nurse in New York. I think she was a travel nurse because she got flown in. And she said that they are letting blacks and Latinos die. She said that she's seen so many mistakes done and not enough quality care. And once she said something, you know, like a whistleblower, she spoke up, they transferred her. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's how we're dying. Shit, we're being murdered. After we get the virus or whatever, then we go to the hospital and like, okay, you're black, you go over to that ward where they're dying. You're white, you go over there because we're going to take care of you because you're white. And Latino, no, no, you go over there. Allegedly. So that answers my question. Because I'm like, well, how are all the black people dying? So all the white people are mean. Is this being racist? I'm just asking. Because this is what I'm here. This is what the nurse said. I didn't say this. I'm asking why. You know, I'm pissed off because, you know, my people were, are, are just dying left and right. But she clarified some things. People of a certain color are getting inadequate health care care i think she said somebody um inserted a ventilator wrong and she said something 
and the doctor ignored it for five days and the person died, passed away. Can you imagine? <laughs> I can't imagine. I'm not laughing about that. I'm just laughing about if I were in her shoes. Ooh, if I were in her shoes, I, I wouldn't have a job. See, I'm not the type who, well, I mean, you know, normally, I'm not going to say about everything, but normally I'm not the type to see something wrong and just, hmm, oh well, not when people's lives are at stake. You know, if it was kids, oh my God, you know how I am about kids, mentally disabled or kids, people being abused or whatever, but my goodness, going to a hospital and being having less care I just I can't and it takes so much out of me that's why I used to always go visit my aunt in her home and literally every time I went I would be up there four hours three out of those four hours I would be I would visit the administrator the head administrator and we would be going at it one time I almost me and this nurse almost started to fight it was a man. I am not lying. We were about to go at it. Literally. <sighs> What's going to happen? I, I, I... So today is March 8th, 2020. I don't know how many more blogs I'm going to do because I don't know how long we're going to be here. All right, I'll see you guys later.